everyone, and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, sponsored by T-Set. I am here with Chef Val. Always a pleasure to have you from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. All right, I'm jumping right into it because Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and it's obviously related to food. So if this is something aside or something part of that dinner... Right, so if you're needing a last minute side and you want something that's a little healthier, then how about these Brussels sprouts? They really okay. are delicious. They are sesame Brussels sprouts and we're utilizing sesame oil and sesame seeds. Okay, okay. so this is a perfect alternative to maybe some of the other things that will be on the table. That's right. Um, and so we have some of the Brussels sprouts that are already um, cut in the bowl and these are like extremely ginormous Brussels sprouts. So I'm actually cutting them in quarters, but it is Brussels sprout season. So. Okay, that was my next question. So yes. this is something very in season, which is perfect along with the holiday. Yes. It's right into fall. You can probably get these at the farmer's market right now too. Oh, so okay. yeah, we're just gonna quarter these. And once you get them all quartered, um, they're gonna get a little bit of sesame oil and sesame seeds, a little sprinkle of salt, okay. and they're gonna go right into the oven. And so with these that are already finished, mm -hmm. um, I actually put the pan in the oven because I do really like um, that it caramelizes really well if you put the pan in the oven first and ah. then put your vegetables on after. Okay. So they go so on the hot pan. Cook yes. It. Yes. So these are just going to get tossed in the oil. And now something with sesame seed, is there a benefit, particular benefit by having that on there too? I mean, any seeds that you can eat are healthy. I mean, they have a lot of fiber and they have a lot of micronutrients. So you're just getting a little extra pop along with the Brussels sprouts. And these are some black sesame seeds. Okay. And I mean, I don't think you're going to be able to really tell the difference necessarily. Some people say they have a little bit more bitter flavor, but I do think they're really beautiful. And so I was going to say, I just love how it just gives yeah. you the texture and the color along yeah. with it too. So these are going to go on. We'll just pretend the sheet pan is yes. really hot, came right out of the oven. Look at it steaming. Yes. <laughs> and then these are going to go right in. Um, if you have convection, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, if it's okay. just a... Um, regular conventional oven, maybe 30 minutes, something okay. like that. But just until they're bright green and they have a little caramelization on them, like something these. Something like this. Something like this. That you want to have all finished and perfect, which looks yes. amazing, and now I get to taste. Yes, please do. <laughs> and then don't limit this to Thanksgiving Ooh. either. I mean, right. this it could side be any dish. Time. Yeah, totally. And another good thing that would be on this is a little sprinkling of vinegar to kind of offset the bitterness if that's something that you're trying to, to do. I can't even talk because it's Okay, so well, they're really good. We'll, hey, we'll no. just say that. <laughs> no, seriously, I wanted to enjoy every bite. They're so good. good. And I have to fully admit, just a personal thing, I have not always been a huge Brussels sprout fan, but everything that you have made is fantastic. So I think this good. would make a great side for Thanksgiving. So if you want to add this to your Thanksgiving menu or just want to check it out for any other time, go ahead and head to our website, kjrh.com.